Okay, uh, so let's try this mechanism uh, for the reaction that we just went over, right? So to take a nitrile to a carboxylic acid, you can use um, acid, right, H3O plus. So we get H3O plus from mixing what? What would we mix to get H3O plus? Yeah, what kind of acid? Like strong acid, but what are, what kind of acid would you pick? Yeah, sulfuric acid would work, okay. Um, even a weaker acid like phosphoric acid would work. Remember, we used something like that for a similar reaction, not this exact one, but one that we did in class. So what we're doing here is the, the mechanism of this reaction. So does everybody have this initial scheme written down? Okay. Let's go ahead and waste that. So remember what we're going to, okay? And I want you to attempt to do this while I'm doing it as well. So we're adding an acid to this. So what kind of reaction do you think will be the first reaction that we see? Huh. Protonation or an acid base reaction, right? Okay. So what, which one do you think is the acid, left or right? All right, obviously, right? Okay, so what's going to happen? The base has to be the nitrile nitrogen, right? It has to be, because that's the only thing that has lone pairs, right? So, deprotonate, so that's the first step. And um, most of these are equilibrium arrows, so I'm gonna write those. So now we have that. Okay, so the next step here is going to be the nucleophilic attack of the nucleophile on the electrophilic carbon, okay? So where did we say the electrophilic carbon was? Remember in the nitrile? Which one is it? That one there? Yes, it is that one there. Very good, okay? So that one there, okay? And if you thought it was something different, that's the one we should have thought. Okay? Because remember, that's the one we said that looks kind of like a carbonyl. Kind of like one, not really, but it's got a very electronegative atom next to it and it's got multiple bonds. Does that make sense? Okay. So that would be the first arrow, but well, that's not the only arrow, right? Because we gotta break one of those bonds, so. Questions on that? Remember, we have many water molecules in here, so we can use another one, okay? So that's what we're going to use to deprotonate. And look what happens. When we deprotonate this with a water molecule, we regenerate that acid, okay? So it's a, like a catalyst.
any questions on what we've done there? Makes sense. Yes. Uh, the H3O plus? Yeah. No, you can put it down there. Okay. But I'm putting it there because I know what the next step is. Okay. So the next step is these electrons here are going to go down and make that double bond. So look, making a carbonyl, right? So remember, what are we trying to make eventually? Carboxylic acid. Do we need to have a carbonyl in that thing? Yes. Yeah, so that's where we're going with this, okay? That's the first arrow. The second arrow deprotonates that regenerated acid. Okay? So if you put it down there, right, it would be harder to, you'd have to draw that arrow all the way around. And I'm too tall to be all like, you know? So what the water is going to do is deprotonate that proton there. So what do we have now? So this is the intermediate here. What kind of molecule is that? Here, let me get out of the way. Like what functional group does it have on it? That's an amine, right? You see that? So that's an in the intermediate for this. If you were like, man, I don't know what that is, you gotta go back and figure out functional groups. Kind of getting crowded here, I'm going to erase the top. Is everybody okay with that? How about this? Anybody not okay with that? Try to write what the products of that is. Or are, I guess I should say. <coughs> That's what you 
you got, right? And of course, water as well. And in this case, now water's gonna be a nucleophile, okay? Because look, this thing is activated, it's gonna be a good leaving group. So what's going to happen? We're going to attack the carbonyl carbon. but since we have a lot of water in there and no ammonia in there, Le Chatelier's principle is eventually going to knock that one off. And when that happens, we're going to go that your kind of problem, right? Uh, those of you who aren't very good at them, I would recommend that you write this down, like we always do. Okay. Are there any questions on this one? Where are you going to put the video in front of this one? As soon as I possibly can. Any other questions on this one that are related to the actual problem? 